construction around the capital city is creating headaches for some businesses and emergency crews. It's our top story at 11. Thank you for joining us. I'm Siobhan Klepfer. And I'm Sherry Jones. People driving through and around Lansing are likely to see de detours around parts of Michigan Avenue, I-496 and US 127. Detours and slowdowns and frustration, which isn't just impacting drivers. Businesses near those orange cones worry they're going to see less green. That's right. And as Josh Sanchez reports tonight, the road work impacts first responders as well. That's right, Sherry and Siobhan. Emergency crews like the Lansing Fire Department are also having to navigate the maze of orange barrels. Both firefighters and a restaurant manager tell me they are, they are making the most out of an ever-changing roadmap. Come down here, middle of the afternoon though, we've got, there's dump trucks coming through here, construction vehicles, uh, there's quite a bit of dust being churned up as well, so it's definitely had an impact on our business. Douglas Mulkey is the general manager at the People's Kitchen. The restaurant sits along East Michigan Avenue, where the steady stream of cars has been replaced with barriers. Mulkey says social media posts and signs have been reminding people of detours to get to the restaurant. <laughs> but weekday breakfast and lunch sales have dipped. He's thankful the community is still stopping by. Local restaurants open, local restaurants close. And if you enjoy your local restaurant, please come visit us, take out, take a catering order. Multiple construction projects and closures are not only affecting businesses, it's also making it hard to get around, like for one reporter today who was late for work. It's also adding an extra layer for emergency services to be mindful of as they find the best route to get to those in need. The road's open in the morning, you go down the same road at night and it's closed, or vice versa. It was open all night and then in the morning it's closed. Battalion Chief Aaron Ginsberg with the Lansing Fire Department says staying on top of road closures is a practice of communication between the construction crews, the city's emergency management office, and patrols through side streets. He says the department has been making adjustments to make sure response times are not affected. We're moving rigs, who goes first, how they're getting there, um, communicating the road closures, um, and asking people to take the alternate routes. Battalion Chief Ginsburg says if a fire truck or another emergency vehicle is trying to pass you through a construction zone, find the safest place to move off to the side of the road, and that might mean after you've cleared the construction zone. Back to you. Good information. Thank you, Josh. Well, thousands